that there is a fire pretty close by. Looks like it's in Castello. Is there anything on the app? So this is the fire on the Fogos app. So it's the one that's in Castello Branco and it's got four aerial resources going to it. So it's a pretty big one. So we're going to have another go this evening with the pump. We spoke to our friend Thomas last night who's got who's quite good with pumps and he told us we need to make sure this is full and might have to fill it a few times and then make sure the seal on this is really well sealed <laughs> because it works off the sort of pressure of the seal. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to tighten that up, refill this with water and see if we can get it to work again. Heading up to Nick's. <laughs> we have a few questions for him to help us with. Uh, he's a very helpful friend to have. Thank you. 
Needed to fill the pipe. Our logic and science work. <laughs> so if it's just like a four meter drop to the water, if we if the bottom's in and we just fill it, it should go to the top, shouldn't it? No, it'll just empty. So how do we have to seal it? Frankie! What are you doing in the pig pen? Sausage! Yeah, my cousins. can't get this blinking water pump to work <laughs> it's driving us crazy uh we're gonna take it back tomorrow I, th I don't know if it's because the well is so deep but it's just it doesn't want to work we've primed the pipe like nick told us to but yeah with i think we're gonna buy a second electric pump like the one we've already got because they're only about 35 euros and keep it in that well and then our friend thomas also sent us a link to a solar powered water pump so i think we're gonna order that instead <laughs> and have a pump in each of our three wells that way one of the benefits of that is that we can use it during a fire ban any time of the day and then also by having the two electric pumps then we have the choice of either using our solar power bank or the generator so <laughs> after <laughs> many frustrations with this water pump i think we've come up with a good solution for pumping the water out of the well and then over the winter we're going to look into more like water storage and rainwater collection and see if we can get some sort of gravity thing going on but just for for now i feel like that's a good plan this is how low the well is the pump does say it should pump seven meters so obviously this isn't seven meters from here because we know the well is eight meters deep altogether so it should do it and it's not so now i just need to take this pump out of here and go to the bottom garden. just gonna quickly take the dogs out before it gets too dark but we did buy a more powerful head torch which means it's easier to work in the garden in the dark so we're finding solutions to our challenges do you want to go for a walk
just spotted this in the light of my torch. What an absolute beast! That is a big bunch of grapes. A lot of our grapes are not doing too well because of the heat and probably the lack of water because we're in a drought. So it's nice to see. Jamaican chef. A prawn paella ish. Paella ish yeah. dish. A paella ish dish. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so we met our friends Sergio and Carla for dinner the other evening, and they're obviously in a very creative family because Sergio. Uh, made us the beautiful tile that's in our kitchen and they had gifts from Carla's parents for us so uh, her mother Vittoria crochets the edge of these <laughs> that's so beautiful for our kitchen and then her father Agostinho made this from an old cherry tree it's just so gorgeous so thank you both for these gifts and helping us to make our kitchen space more of a home. Um, Carla told me that the wood needed a seal so I bought some wood finish from a really beautiful uh, company I found called Bazugo Studio who make the most beautiful furniture and they make their own wood finish as well that's all natural it's um, just made with coconut oil and it also has lavender oil in so it just smells amazing I thought I would give this a go because we want to take good care of it so I have a rag Today we went into Castello Branco to go and try and return the pump. When we were driving we actually drove through the area that we saw was on fire the other night and it got really close to petrol station which must have been terrifying. And then we saw another fire as we were driving along. So. Yeah, it's really reiterated the importance of having a pump because one of the things I was thinking the other night was our power bank was pretty much empty and when the generator wasn't working I was like if there was a fire we currently have no means of pumping water out so it's definitely not a comfortable feeling to feel. Anyway, we got to Agriloja and said can we return this pump? So they said oh we'll, we'll take it in the back to test it because you can't return a used pump unless it's actually not working. So yeah, they took us in the back and stuck the pipe in a barrel and turned on the motor and water pump pumped out the same as it did at Nick's. So we said, yeah, well, we know it works like that, but it's not pumping four meters up from our well. Hi, Jogo. Uh, that's, that's the problem. It should be pumping from at least seven meters, so we can't get that to work. So <laughs> they then, uh, to try and work out if it was definitely an issue with the pump, put the pump on a pallet and with a forklift truck <laughs> lifted one of the guys up on the pallet four meters into the air 
with the pipe still in the barrel and uh, and pumped it up from there and it took a long time and they could see that the water wasn't pumping up as we had explained but because the pipe was suspended in the air we could see the water level was actually <laughs> Diego, calm down the water level was actually slowly rising <laughs> up the pipe so we were able to see that we just needed to keep pushing the motor until the water got there it should be fine because i said we, you know we kept stopping the pump earlier because it felt like it was destroying the motor so we have come back home with the pump <laughs> we are now going to try the pump again and i hope that it works this time I don't know if the camera will be picking this up on the sound, but there is like heavy bass. <laughs> is that what you would call it? Hard techno. Hard techno beats going on in the background and it's been going on all week. And we're not sure if it's boom festival that we can hear, but it's like 20 kilometers away. But it's all we can hear from about seven in the evening till seven in the morning and we can just be in the cabin sometimes like doom, doom, doom. luckily we have a fan on which kind of seems to drown out the noise a bit but yeah it's very strange being here in the middle of nowhere and just having this like heavy music playing so i hope it's boom festival and not some noisy neighbors that have moved close by 